as many of you know, I am, I am what, I am what we like to call a bit of a matchmaker. Aren't I, gang? I'm a matchmaker. That's right, you know, if I had to put my occupation... That's what I'd say. I'm a, I'm a hopeless romantic and I am committed to helping the amazing single people who work here at The Late Late Show find their perfect match, OK? <laughs> Which brings me to one of my favourite games that we play here. It's called... The game's called Late Late Live Tinder. It's exactly what you think it is, right? <laughs> now, the person we're surprising tonight doesn't know that she is about to play this game. She doesn't know she's perhaps about to find true love. <laughs> she is a development assistant. She's been with us going on two years. We're about to surprise her with a camera. The lovely Re, Re. Yes, you, Re. There's no other Re there. Hi, Re. How are you? Good. How are you? I am very, very well. How's it going? It's good. Yes. Now, listen. We're thinking of playing late, late live Tinder here, and we were wondering if you want to meet your soulmate on national television. <laughs> are you, do you want to do this? Like right now, though. Okay. Do you want to play? Because we're going to do it now. Come on down and join me on the stage. It's time to play. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, to be honest, honestly, I'll allow it. I can't. I can't tell if you're doing one of those smiles, which is just a smile because you're here, but actually you're going. I'm going to <laughs> kill you. We'll find out. <laughs> is that what is it, what are they, you're walking No, I'm excited. Like, I'm excited. Th really? Yeah, you're yeah. up for this? Yeah. Honestly, you're yeah. in. I'm in. Reason. Yeah. We're all in. We have some guys backstage. You want to play? When we come back, we're going to play Lay Lay Live Tinder with Reed. Come on. You've had the commercial break to think about this. How are you feeling? I feel good. You feel okay about this? I think so, yeah. All right, perfect. <laughs> well, look, before we begin, let's get to know Ree. Now, Ree, you started at the Late Late Show about two years ago. You are now a development assistant at our production company, Full World 73. Oh, yeah. She is <laughs> upwardly mobile. She cannot be tamed. <laughs> now, Ree, tell us, what are you looking for in a man? Um, a human. Um... <laughs> That makes me laugh. Someone that makes you laugh. Yeah. Now, I've heard a rumor, tell me if this is true, that your dream man is none other than a young Mr. Harold Styles. Is that true? <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, is it really? Harry. Harry, yes. have you been here when he's done a pop in? I haven't. Are yet, you like, no. you haven't yet? Yeah, that's why I'm still here. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, listen, I can't tell you, I don't think Harry Styles is behind there, but your perfect match might be. It's time to play Late Late Live Tinder. <laughs> It's going to work. The guys will come out one at a time. You are going to take your big foam finger, OK? <laughs> you will swipe right if you like the guy and left if you don't. Now, swipe wisely, because you only have three guys to fill those three chairs there who will make it through to the next round, OK? Are you ready to play? Ready. Let's get started. Let's bring out our first man. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Where do we go from here? Look at Taylor! I mean, what are your thoughts, Ree? Um, my first thought is Taylor. My sister's name's Taylor. I also have a best... I have two best friends named Taylor. I think I have too many Taylors in my life. <laughs> Give the guy a break! What can he do about his name? I mean... <laughs> he can't help that. I know. He's dressed really nicely. Though. He's dressed perfectly. His hair looks incredible <laughs> and... He clearly smells amazing. What, <laughs> what is not to like? That's I'm almost true. certain he would change his name for you, Ree. <laughs> but is it a swipe right or a swipe left? It's only up to you, Ree. What are um, you going to do? I'm going to swipe left. Oh, Taylor, I'm sorry. <laughs> Into the ball pit of despair. <laughs> Even a great dismount. <laughs> Let's bring out our next contestant.
Now, Jeremiah, 21, I mean, a smile to die for. Yes. I mean, he puts the yah in Jeremiah yah. <laughs> What are our thoughts? What are we looking for age-wise, Ree? What are, um, where, where do we where do we top and bottom out here? I'm in the middle because I'm 25. Okay, so I feel so like I can. Uh, 21's fine. 21's yeah. a good time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keep me youthful. Yeah, um, I mean I like Jeremiah a lot. That is a give us a big smile, Jeremiah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh, he's a swipe. Let's bring out our next contestant. Hello. I don't know. A Hanson reforming or what? What's happening here? Because Peter is a tall drink of water, and I am all in. <laughs> Look at this hair. It's good hair. Peter, will you just give us one of these? Even Harry Styles is watching this at home going, I wish I had that hair. I think so. If you don't swipe right, I will. Ree, it's up to you. I'll agree, I'll swipe right. Get over there, Peter! <laughs> I can't take my eyes off Peter. <laughs> I'll give you a moment. <laughs> I also really, really am looking forward to seeing his Christian rock group. Aren't you? <laughs> Let's bring out our next contestant. <laughs> Sup, bra? <laughs> BC stands for bro. Chill. <laughs> BC, can I ask you politely to remove the hat so we can get a full sense of your face? <laughs> BC, this is beautiful. This is like a... Am I wrong, ladies? Am I wrong? Yeah, that's better. I've got to be honest. Before Cap... That's what BC said. <laughs> before Cap, I was swiping left. After Cap... He's a right for me, but it's not up to me. It's up to you, Ree. Yeah. What do you think? Are you swiping right or left? Um, I'm gonna go left. Oh, know. what? Oh. No! Too casual. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, too casual. Too casual? Yeah. He made the choice to come out with the hat. But look at him. He's beautiful. Oh, you are beautiful. Let's bring out our next contestant. <laughs> Hi, Caleb. He's made an effort. Yes. I mean, you know, he's got a sort of touch of the sort of Rami Malek eyes, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I like Rami Malek. I, I love I Rami Malek, and I love, I've got to say, I love Caleb. I love that he's made an effort, <laughs> and I think it's, again, a lovely belt. He's got a lovely belt on there, and there's no denying that. I'm drawn to it. <laughs> What do we think about Caleb? Are we going to swipe right on Caleb? The Remy Malik vibes are working for me. I'm going to go right. Oh, on. Caleb, take a seat. <laughs> take a seat. Let's bring out our next contestant. <laughs> hey, Jake. I like Jake. He's a good yes. boyfriend for the winter. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Time. I don't think he's the one, but he's the one for this holiday season. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. <laughs> He'll throw a log on the fire, you know? <laughs> He'll get you a good gift, and then mid-January, ah, oh, it's not working out, Jake, sorry. <laughs> he looks nice, nice face, kind eyes. What's your thoughts, Ree? Yeah, he does have a kind face. It's welcoming. It is well. <laughs> that's what I mean about the holiday season. <laughs> He's the kind of guy that you'll come home and he'll be like, oh, surprise, I did all your holiday decorations. This is true. This is true. <laughs> this what do we okay. think, though? Is he, gonna, is he worth swapping out Caleb or Jeremiah? What do we think? <laughs> That's the question. Um... <laughs> That's the question. Is he worth swapping out one of those two? Because if you get... I swear I to know. God, if you get rid of I Peter, know. you're fired. <laughs>
What do we think? Is it, is it I, worth swapping out or not? What's I don't your think thoughts? It's worth a swap. I'm sorry, Jake. Oh, I'm sorry, Jake. Happy holidays. Now, I should tell you, our next contestant is our last man. This okay. is the last chance to make a swap. Let's bring out our next contestant. I mean, I don't know what to say, but if there's a fire, I hope I'm stood near you. That's all I think. I, I feel safe. I feel, I feel, I would feel so safe in Travis's arms. <laughs> Travis, lovely eyes, big shoulders. I can't help but think he's got more tattoos. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> the question is, do we want to find out? Um, <laughs> You need to ask yourself, and this is serious, if you go on a date and this becomes serious with Travis, you need to ask yourself, do you want your face to be tattooed on his body? <laughs> OK? Is it... Are we swapping anyone out or are we saying bye to Travis? Um... Re, audience, what do we think? <laughs> You're very handsome, but honestly, I don't think I would know what to do with all of that. <laughs> oh, Travis, I'm sorry. There he goes. So that's it. We have our three finalists, Caleb, Peter, and Jeremiah. OK, come this way for me. OK, now, guys, we haven't heard what you sound like. Tell us your name, where you're from, and what you do for a living. Starting with you, Caleb. Caleb, um, I am from Denver, Colorado originally, and I am a producer and a DJ. Oh. I've got to say, Caleb has just gone up 300% <laughs> after that voice. Yeah. Nice I, would, I was happily like, oh, you can read me a bedtime story and I'll just drift off here <laughs> in a lovely way. All right, Peter, tell us about yourself. What were the, the things? I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> but in many ways, Peter, I thank you. Because if it wasn't for men like you, I would never have met my wife. <laughs> Peter, it was very complicated. What we asked for was your name, where you're from, and what you do for a living. That's what confu... I'm wearing my name. That's what confused me. I'm from... Lowell, Massachusetts, and I'm an actor. Mm. <laughs> there it is. It gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear about you, Jeremiah. How we live in? Uh, my name is Jeremiah Dunbar from Washington State, and I coach eighth grade basketball. Oh. oh. Okay. All right, three wonderful men, wonderful options. Every one of them handsome and, you know, bright in their own way. So, <laughs> but we can't decide, Re. This is all up to you. Who's it going to be? Jeremiah. Jeremiah! Come on, guys. Peter and Sarah. Thank you so much, James. You're both loving thanks, man. That was so great. And here we are. We've got a date. Oh. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. I do. I do. Now, listen. You are probably wondering... You are probably wondering what kind of date you're going to go on, and I can tell you, I am sending you both on an all-expenses-paid trip down the hall <laughs> for a date on our most romantic patio in all of Television City. We're going to check in with you later in the show. Go for it. Give them a round of applause, Jeremiah and we, everybody. Head this way. Go for it. Well, 
welcome back. We are here with Ree and Jeremiah, and we are all dying to know how it went. How was the date? Was it fun? It was fun. It was kind of awful. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was super fun. It was super fun. Yeah. Really? You had a good time? Amazing time. Okay, yeah. well, listen, here's the question, okay? And I need you to answer completely honestly, okay? If you're not feeling it, don't feel it, okay? <laughs> Ree, Jeremiah, come in here. <laughs> What we're all dying to know is, will there be a second date? Now, wait, I'm going to say one, two, three, and you say yes or no, OK? Re Jeremiah, will there be a second date? One, two, three. Yes. yes. Oh! 